Hi everyone, this is Deanna Guerrero with Prayer Warrior Ministries and today I'm joined by my beautiful daughter Brittany and we are going to introduce fasting, the Daniel Fast, which is something that our ministry is starting. It's going to be the beginning of the year, January 1st, and we're starting our annual Daniel Fast. And Brittany is going to talk to us about the reasons that we fast and give us some pointers based on God's Word. So Brittany, share with our viewers why we fast. We start the fast um, as a way to sacrifice going into the new year, telling God that we're ready to receive what you have. We're going forward and we're going to do a house cleaning, so to speak. That's good. Uh, uh, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Right. And so the fast is a spiritual cleaning, cleansing of our spirit. All right, spiritual. it's cleaning out those things that we've allowed to come in over the year um, and just to make fresh space for the Holy Spirit to come in and move us to new places. Well, how, what, what is the difference between a fast and a diet? Well, in Ecclesiastes, we find Ecclesiastes 4.12, so if you want to go there and just reference that, um, it tells us that a three-chord um, bond is not easily broken. So as Christians, we're called to, um, to give, to pray and to fast. And so as a fast, we're offering up our our bodies as a living sacrifice um, to the Lord to cleanse ourselves and just give back. And so we're making that three-chord bond when we're fasting, giving, and praying and reading the Word. Okay. And what are some of the things um, that we can expect to happen? Um, physically, <laughs> um, we can expect for our bodies to, um, to purge. So we're, we may have headaches manifest from toxins releasing out of your body. So you are going to want to make sure you drink plenty of water. Um, definitely in the first few days, you want to make sure you're consuming at least a gallon of water. Mm -hmm. And that sounds like a lot, but when you're um, flushing out all of your systems, um, it really won't be. So you may expect to have um, maybe stomach pain, some headaches, um, but they will pass after the first few days. Okay. And um, so... We, um, during the fast, we're doing a Daniel fast, right? So we want to um, make that differentiation, I guess, because um, sometimes we, as a ministry, will fast one day a week and be in prayer um, during our Monday prayer calls. Um, so that's a day that we abstain from. Most of us will abstain from food, and we'll just drink liquids. Um, right. But that's this, absolute that's, fast. But this fast is going to be for 21 days, right. and we are going to eat. Um, Fruits, vegetables, no animal products. Right. We're going to no limit meat. our intake. We're going to take, um, Daniel calls in the book of Daniel, um, he says that he took in no pleasant foods mm -hmm. because um, King Nebuchadnezzar came forth and he said for the prophets um, to consume everything that he the was eating. So the meats, the wines, those mm -hmm. types of things. So Daniel said no. <laughs> he said no, we're not going to do that. Test us. And see how we look in 10 days. And yeah. they were wiser and stronger than those that had consumed the animal products. So we're going to consume simply fruits and vegetables. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to cut out all of the animal byproducts. Um, your dairy, your cheeses, milk, um, and eggs. We're going to stop consuming those. We're not going to take any sweeteners or additives. And so it's going to be completely natural. We can take in grains, um, all natural oils, which are going to be your olive oils, mm -hmm. um, some seed oils, peanut oils. Um, we're going to definitely limit all of that. Um, you can cook with seasonings, but try not to do the normal ones that are over the shelf because those have um, preservatives. Okay. So you're going to want to eliminate those as well. Okay, and we will um, post some helpful um, lists um, with do's and don'ts. Of course... Um, we don't want you to get caught up in um, it being a, a hindrance. So if, right. you, if you make a mistake and you eat something accidentally, don't worry about it. Just, you know, go before God and get back on it. You know, um, um, it's a growing season for us during this fast. And um, the important thing is, is that you continue to meditate scriptures. Um, right. You meditate on the Word of God because you're growing closer to God. 
and um, you the the fast is like Brittany had pointed out that it's a a spiritual cleansing, not just right. a physical cleansing, which will happen. You'll have a physical right. cleansing, but you're also going to have a spiritual cleansing. And during that time, you want to make sure that you're putting God's word in your eyes, your ears and um, getting it into your heart and meditating on it. Otherwise, you will become very weak, not just physically, but spiritually. Um, so our hope is that every week we will go ahead and repost something to encourage you during the fast. Definitely um, check in on our Facebook and our Instagram so that you can see those encouraging words. Um, we hope to have them up daily. Um, the spirit or the scripture that we're standing on to start with is going to be Matthew 6, 3, or 33, which is seek first the kingdom of God and all of these things will be added to you. Um, we're standing there. We're starting there. That's the word that um, God's given to us mm -hmm. to start the fast. So we're going to stay there and just um, focus on that. That God's going to add plenty of things to us throughout the year um, as we seek Him. We do encourage you to um, go to Habakkuk 2 and 2. And that's where He tells, uh, we get instructions on uh, writing the vision. So you're going to want to focus on things that you're believing for. And you should be praying about that. Mm -hmm. um, that God will give you at least three things, if not more. You right. know, definitely don't put limits on it because the sky's <laughs> the limit. Glory to God. Um, or maybe not. Or Heaven's not the even limit. the sky's Heaven's the limit. limit, right? Yes. But you definitely want to keep those things before you because you will struggle. That's it. And going into the fast, we should hope that we wouldn't struggle. <laughs> but... Um, we know that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Right. The Word but, tells us that. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it have more, abundantly. more abundantly. Amen. Absolutely. Yeah. So we know that Jesus was tempted in the desert before he started his ministry. Mm -hmm. So we, um, we being created in his image, know that they want to steal that Word before it gets rooted and founded. Um, so know that you are wrestling with the enemy for the rest of your year. That once you get past this 21 days... You're on the other side of your Amen. breakthrough. Yes. That it is just on the other side. And just keep standing firm on those things that God's put in your heart to, to believe Him for. Amen. Because He said, if you can believe it, then I can get it to you. You just Amen. have to stand on the Word and receive it. Just receive so, it. So, <laughs> keep it before your eyes. Um, just as He told Joshua, meditate on it day and night. Day and night. Amen. And so, um, that's our hope for this fast, is that you will keep it before your eyes. And that you will stand firm in word, God's word and um, believe him for those things that he's put in your heart. Amen. Well, Brittany and I will be in prayer for you. Um, if you want to contact us, you know, um, anything that you're believing for, we will stand in agreement with you along with the other prayer warriors. Absolutely. We invite you to join our Monday prayer call. I'll um, put the information so you can call in from wherever you are. If you live in another country, just message me and I will give you the number and the access code to call in from wherever you are. Um, hopefully, um, I think there are like 58 countries that we have the number that they can call in. So we'll provide that to you. You can call in and be part of our intercessory prayer on Mondays, 12 um, p.m. Central Standard Time here in the U.S. Um, and if you're local, you can also not just do the Monday call. If you're in San Antonio, Texas, you can also join us on Wednesdays where we have a Bible study and a prayer group. Right. So um, until next time, stay tuned and, um, you know, just know that Jesus is with you, and Jesus is Lord, and Jesus is Lord over every situation, every circumstance that you may be facing, and you can just speak to it, and if it's a financial issue, you can just say, you know, um, financial issue, um, bank account, you know, bill, um, debt, whatever it is, you just speak to it and say, Jesus is Lord over you, and I thank you that he's going to give me the way out of this. If you're believing for healing, which is, you know, if you're fasting, um, I've fasted for um, healing before, not just for myself, but for other people, and it is a powerful tool, um, and you just, you can speak, you can speak to that sickness or disease and say, Jesus is Lord over you, whatever it may be, you know, maybe you have cancer, you can say cancer, Jesus is Lord over you. So you speak to it and you remind it that Jesus is Lord over it and it has no power over you. And this fast is going to strengthen you spiritually. So we're excited to be joining you in this fast and this time of prayer. Um, it is going to be a powerful, powerful time. Until next time, be blessed.